I sometimes think I was put on this earth to keep ladder companies in business. I'm only five foot eight, but if you're a family of six, very tall people, this boat could be of interest. Head height in this boat is six foot ten. Huge. She's called Serenity. She's a 55 foot cruiser stern narrowboat built in 2004 by Liverpool Boats. She was custom built to the owner's uh, particular spec, so she deviates slightly from the standard Liverpool, but she's a family boat. There are six berths, two, two loos. You can eat six. Uh, and she's in fabulous condition. You can see how shiny the paintwork is. For a boat of her age, she's marvellous. The well deck's here. The locker there in the bows has two gas bottles, 13 kilos. And there's storage in each of these bench seats here. The water tank's under the well deck. That's stainless steel. It's large, 550 litres. Glazed front doors. And into the boat we go. She feels lovely. Ash face ply. Carpets. Feels very cosy. You can see the two upholstered bench seats here. They can either be two single berths, of course, or they do double up into a large double. There's also a large demountable table for dining. You'll see that in a little while. Floor to ceiling cupboard here. Storage under the step. And there's the Sony stereo and the television point. That television is not actually staying on the boat, but it's all there to put one on. You don't really get a feel of how tall the ceiling is, but, but it is six foot ten. Bank of five drawers here. The microwave is there. There's a three kilowatt inverter on board. That, together with the landline, will give you 230 volts. There's a radiator there, you can see. That's, there were three of those and a towel rail heated by the Eberspacher diesel fired system. Nice lights under the cupboards here in the kitchen. And the Houdini hatch there. I can't actually reach that Houdini hatch. That might give you some idea of the headroom. Cubs and drawers on the starboard side. It's a nice horseshoe arrangement, this kitchen. I like it. The cookers of Vanette, four burner gas hob. There's an oven and separate grill underneath, cupboards over. Some very deep cupboards under the sink. And the fridge is to the right here. That's a Frigidaire 12 volt fridge, and there's an ice box at the top. We'll wander on through. It's a little hard to show you here with a camera in one hand, but there's a wardrobe here on the right as you pass. It's a double doored wardrobe, and that board at the bottom just lifts to expose further storage underneath. The table there for the dining area is on the left. You probably just saw that stowed under the gunnels. Here's the first of two loos, heated towel rail. The shower cubicle is tiled. And the basin's countersunk there with a cupboard underneath. The saloon, by the way, was nine feet long and the galley six foot six. The bathroom is five foot six. And into the fixed double bedroom. The bed itself is six foot three long, four feet wide. Cupboards over and some reading lights underneath these cupboards. The holding tank for the pump out loos under under that bed. Now we go into the aft cabin. This is eleven foot four inches long. Two bunk beds in here. It's a lovely room. This I like it. Sort of dressing area here and in there where there's a few bits and pieces is where the washing machine could go. There is plumbing and power in there. Very straightforward, and here's the ensuite loo. Don't see many of these on narrow boats. Compact but very practical. And that's a pump out as well.
It's a brace of blues on this boat. <laughs> nice dressing area here. A couple of good cupboards at the end. That's the inverter down there. That's a Powermaster 3 kilowatt, I think I mentioned. And an airing cupboard here. The chlorophyre is under there, that's heated by the engine. And there is also an immersion heater fitted to it, but it's not wired in. That would be straightforward as well. The rear deck's large, 7 feet 6 long. A couple of useful stowage lockers either side, and they can be seats as well, of course. And this back's back rail and seat arrangement is very child friendly. With the benches below the taff rail, it'd be very hard to accidentally fall overboard. So it's a very family orientated boat. Everything on board for happy holidays. Extended cruising, even. There's an intruder alarm on board, I didn't mention that, and there's also a galvanic isolator fitted. She was black two years ago, so that will be due soon. She was serviced in July this year, 2018. The engine I didn't mention actually, that's under the deck balls at the back as an Isuzu 38 horsepower. Lovely boat. Out we go. For further photographs, the fully downloadable colour brochure and the price go to our website www.rugbyboats.co.uk